I came prepared. So I'm going to do the ALS ice bucket challenge. <laughs> I'm going to nominate Elliot <laughs> Edwards. Whoa! Hi Josh, where do you come from? Oh, it's just in the area. Right. Have you come to take a pool? I hear you've been challenged. The ice bucket challenge? Oh. That. It's been over 24 hours and you still haven't done it. Actually, it's been over three months. And everyone else has stopped doing it, so why should I? Look, we shouldn't be talking on poolside. You're distracting me. Distracting you from what? From watching the pool. Why are you watching the pool? Because I'm a lifeguard, it's my job to watch the pool. But there's nobody in the pool. <sighs> Better safe than sorry. Oh, come on, Elliot. When are you going to do it? Do what? The ice bucket challenge. Oh, I don't know. It's cool, I guess. And it looks fun, but I want to do something inventive with it. Something new. Always a creative. But if I'm going to do it, then I need to come up with some original ideas. Ideas for what? Elliot's been on our team wants to do an original ice bucket challenge. Just have a really long cold shower. Ah! Ah! Or an icy bath. Ah! Or even better, get a weedy bin, fill it up with cold water, jump into that. Ah! Ah! How's that better than my idea? Because yours wasn't original. What? Well, you're not original, Kieran. The whole point of the Ice Bucket Challenge is to do something for motion neuron disease. Something good. Not to make a video of me getting cold. That achieves nothing. It'd still be pretty funny, though. It would. <laughs> You're missing the point. All right, calm down. Jeez, what's his problem? I don't know. Not too long ago, I mentioned to somebody that I was making this short film about motor neuron disease in response to the Ice Bucket Challenge. To which, they responded this. Why? The ice bucket challenge is no longer a thing. The simple reason why is this. Because despite the popularity of the ice bucket challenge, motion neuron disease has not gone away. And unfortunately, approximately five people in the UK per day will continue to die from this disease. Just because an online trend has died out does not mean we should stop caring about the cause. It was promoting. I'd now like to introduce you to a lovely woman named Diane who has been diagnosed with motor neuron disease. Diane will tell you firsthand what it's like to live with MND and how it will impact her and her family. My brain doesn't pass messages to my muscles properly, um, which actually makes them then waste. So eventually I'll have no strength, I won't be able to move my arms, my legs, um, I won't be able to talk, eat, drink. Basically, I'll be trapped in my own body. I've always been fun-loving, enjoy life, and what have you, you know, just up for anything, up for a laugh. Now I can't do anything for myself. All my independence has gone. I'm very lucky that my daughter is able to look after me. She went into hospital November last year and came out, is it April? Yeah, this anyway, year. Yeah. And ever since she came out of hospital, we were caring for her. And then I, I was in full-time work at the time, so I quit my job and then became my mum's full-time carer then. Basically have to do everything for my mum. She can't walk on her own. She has to be helped to wash in the mornings struggles to eat on her own now as well. Basic day-to-day -day things we have to help with. You know, I can't sort of say, oh, I just want to pop over the road, or, you know, I want to go and see a friend, or I just can't do that. And I have to think medically as well. I can't go and stop with friends unless I take all my machines with me, my ventilator to sleep overnight. And when I was 
told that I'd got it. I thought, well, why me? What is it in my body, in my history, that makes me have this disease? Um, and I haven't got the answers. And without people finding out more about the disease, trying to find out as much as they can, and donating money to this worthwhile charity, um, things are never going to change. The Motor Neuron Disease Association is the only national charity for England, Wales and Northern Ireland that focuses on the care research and, and campaigning for um, better services for people with motor neuron disease. The three main sort of strands of the association are the care, research and campaigning. We're doing our utmost to try and make sure that we're improving standards of care through partnerships with statutory bodies and trying to sort of assist in providing vital equipment and services for people where things aren't happening quickly enough. So if you want to go out there and raise money, do it, please do it, because this illness has got to be dealt with. I don't want this to go on to my family, knowing that they've got a death sentence. It, you know, it, it's awful, it really is, to think that that's a legacy I might leave. My family, my children, my grandchildren, it's awful. So it's down to people to really try and get something done. I've said to my family, when I've gone, don't forget MND, keep raising awareness um, to help people in the future. Because I wouldn't, I wouldn't wish this illness on my worst enemy because I'm eventually going to be trapped in this body that doesn't work. So I wouldn't want that for anybody.